Weekly update, 8th of October, 2021. And we've got a new famous comic from Robin Snyder. Uh, Out of this world, number 33. We're going to go tight on this because you are not going to believe this Steve Ditko cover. Uh, I'm not even sure you'll believe it if you do see it, as close as I'm trying to get on it. Uh, you got this variety of textures on the figure, including a midriff, which is a newspaper page. And it looks like wood grain and a metallic texture. Uh, and if you think that... Uh, Robin's just messing with you. No, Robin, Robin isn't just messing with you. That's actually what the cover of Out of This World number seven from 1958 looked like. Uh, that's one of those, <laughs> okay, yeah, I could, I could maybe understand that um, being done in 1980, 1982, 1990 sometime, somebody going, uh, yeah, I'm going to go really weird on this, and then going really weird on this. But 1958, uh, definitely Steve Ditko was weird before most of us were even born. So it's a great book. I mean, it's uh, it's science fiction. Steve Ditko science fiction, uh, mostly scripted by Joe Gill. Uh, Twelve pages of Ditko solo. So, if you ever wondered, okay, leave Steve Ditko on his own to do a twelve-page story called The Beginning, which has an ending on it and is in color and you read it sideways uh, I've read it I think four or five times now I still have no idea what is actually going on in the story uh, but it's it's primo Ditko it's uh, 1985 Ditko um, the, uh, the static book uh, that he did uh, through Charlton and uh, a science fiction backup story in it and um, it's uh, <laughs> I think only with Steve Ditko would I read the story that many times going what is it that I'm missing here and I'm not sure that I'm missing anything I think it's just a this is this is Steve Ditko's idea of science fiction uh, the other uh, stories in the, in the issue are, uh, are twist ending uh, stuff. Definitely Steve Ditko, um, Joe Gill, twist ending stories. And boy, they're, they're real twist endings. It's uh, uh, Joe Gill and, and Steve were pretty much left to do exactly what they wanted to do at, uh, at Charlton. Um, pretty much pretty much right from the beginning uh, of working there. Uh, 1960, uh, Mysteries of Unexplored Worlds, num number 21, uh, is the first story, We Sell Time. Great twist ending on that one. Uh, the Toy is Alive. Uh, Robert Kaniger writing as Jed Corby. <laughs> it's one of those, and that was drawn by uh, Erwin Hassan. Uh, we better not find out uh, that uh, you've been writing for anybody else, Robert, because uh, we got you under contract. Uh, that was from Revolver Number 2, uh, December 1985. Uh, Strange Journey by uh, uh, Joe Gill and Paul Reinman, Letterer Unknown. And then uh, we get into the heart of the, of the Steve Duke O action. Uh, what happened? Uh, Gill and Ditko uh, out of this world, number three, uh, a dreamer's world. Um, 
Mysteries of Unexplored Worlds, 1957. Uh, it's a small world. <laughs> That's from Space Adventures number 8 in 1969. And uh, Web of Treachery excerpt, uh, George Cashton and Ditko. Um, intended for Flash Gordon number 40 in 1982. So Steve Ditko is not really uh, what you would call associated primarily with science fiction. Uh, mostly with spiders, which coincidentally, we got uh, we got some spiders and and webs and uh, it's colored colored red in the background from 1958. So uh, that that was that was a little bit of foreshadowing it was on its way in 1962. Anyway, uh, always want to plug the new famous comic because as I've told you so many times. If you really want a funky read and you want to go, uh, okay, uh, how strange does Steve Ditko get and how traditional does Steve Ditko get? You always get the, the whole spectrum of those in, uh, in these reprints that uh, Robin's been putting together. And the list of Kickstarter supporters just gets longer and longer and longer as people go, uh, I don't want to miss one of these. So there you go. Um, like I say, famous comics. Uh, what's the what's the email address? Uh, Snyder and Ditko at iCloud.com. Um, but you should just be able to uh, Google search Ditko famous comics, and that'll take you right to uh, right to Robin Snyder, and tell them what you want. Tell them what you're willing to pay, and you can't you can't really do better. It's uh, it's a real it's a real nostalgia trip every time out um, for material. I had no idea that Steve Ditko did this. Uh, it's from 50 years ago, and it's absolutely amazing. So thanks again for sending me a comp copy there, Robin. Uh, I owe you one, and uh, that'll do it for this week. And I hope we'll see a bunch of you again next week.